Hello, everybody. <laughs> and, and welcome back to <laughs> more Farewell to Arms. I think I was possessed by a southern oil tycoon air or something like that. Hopefully, he is gone now, because honestly, he makes me feel a little uncomfortable. But alas, this is the first video in this series that is being recorded after the update has come out. So as a result, I have indeed been a bit spoiled by a couple things. And I will I will keep them a secret so as to not, uh, you know, ruin the fun of either seeing them yourself first or seeing seeing them on screen and having my my genuine reactions like I don't I don't know exactly everything like I didn't get spoiled like crazy but uh, a lot of the a lot of the new items are gonna be completely new to me still and that is exciting exciting but as far as the new characters I have some I have some leads to go on at this point I have some leads and I'm excited about that to not be completely lost but you know, it's always, it is always a little bit more fun to, to find it out purely by yourself. But I'm also not just, I'm not the kind of YouTuber, I gotta hate that word, to uh, to sit here and pretend like I wasn't spoiled. You know, I'm not just gonna be like, oh my goodness, it's Paradox. Who would have para-thought? It would be better than that. You know, I, I, <laughs> I, it's not that's my, not my jam. So yeah, I, I do have a I do have a very good lead on how to get to the new secret characters, and I'm very excited. I do want to get to them as soon as possible, of course. But there's only so long in a game's lifespan. I wonder if Snowballer has been tweaked. There's only so long in a game's lifespan where you get to have this moment of a pure unspoiler filled. Uh, for, oh my god, I got a chandelier dropped on me. I wasn't even looking for that. We do have the full heart waiting in the bank. Something tells me I should just pick it up now, even though it's not optimal, because it is a full heart. Oh wait, actually, it splits it up into half pieces. Never mind. We all good. We are all good. But I, I would, I'll definitely say I'm surprised that this was not, not the way to get the gunslinger. That definitely was a little bit of a, of a surprise to me. But I wanted to go back and read that because I was wondering if after beating it, maybe we got another little, another little hint of something. Okay, chest there behind another lock. Strikes me as a no-go. But we'll see. We'll see. We got our. I think we're gonna probably just open up the green chest. We could go to the sewers, but I don't really want to. Oh, hoping for a new item. Okay, SAA is pretty good though. Blasphemy is amazing if you were part of the gun initiated. The blasphemy starting weapon is insane. It's it's the best starting item when you have full health. If you have full health, you do the piercing beam, you see. If you don't have full health, it is just a sword. Which is uh which is not good. SAA does bonus damage if you bounce it off the wall. Also it homes in. I shouldn't I should have left that out. I should have said no, it doesn't home in. I'm just a I'm a bouncing god. Rito you, you might, may have heard the term Rito the god. It came from the uh oh. <laughs> the the point where I uh am an amazing wall bouncer. No, we 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 get this homing in. If you bounce it off the wall, it does bonus damage and it does home in. So you don't really it's not as hard to get as you think at all. In fact, it's easy. Let's go for a key here. We do want to get the ruby bracelet still. Wow, that is a, that's a banger. Dare I say a banger supreme already? Like this this early into the episode? I think it may be a banger supreme. One of the biggest uh, biggest damage upgrades you can you can get, I think. It's, it's really up there. Should have definitely filled up the SAA as my primary. And before anybody says, like, I do want to put this out there, the ammo spread, the pink one, it fills up your main gun 50%, and it fills up every other gun about 20%. I don't, I'm not positive on the, uh, the ratios, but the first one, the gun that you're holding. <gasps> we did it. We got a big old puddle. 
I've been told to to interact with it and then beat the game. We'll see exactly exactly what happens with that, but we will do that indeed. I cannot. Oh my god, I cannot wait. First of all, we look sick as hell, like and not in a. Actually, you know what? Maybe maybe in a in a flu cold kind of way as well. Who knows how that's uh, the kind of sickness works in the gungeon. Nothing works normal down here. Whoa. But oh my god, it looks so cool. Looks so freaking cool. So I think that those can just show up completely randomly. Someone uh, gave me a tip or a thing to try to see if um, if in the forge, the little pools on the ground in there, if you can interact with those. They said try that so I was gonna try that but apparently they can just show up randomly here I don't know if the, the pools in the shop are, are a thing or not and now we'll never know huh. but now we just got ourselves a normal run albeit a bit more galaxy-esque huh. huh. but yeah god I, I, I love playing the bullet after a, a while of not playing him he can He's kind of like if you're very familiar with uh, with the Binding of Isaac, he's he's sort of the Azazel of the game once you once you get the hang of it, because his sword is nuts, and he's probably the I think he's like undoubtedly the best for speed running and stuff too. Just oh, hey oh, dark energy permeates the shrine. Okay, so we oh, just gotta clear this out. A bunch of random waves. One of the few times where the game is actually like purely random it, with its enemy spawns. And after we do that, we should get a chest. Fingers crossed on that ruby bracelet. I don't I don't know what it's for. But apparently we gotta bring that in. I don't think it's for Paradox. That was my other guess. Maybe it's for the gunslinger? Golly, I don't even know. Silver bullets is another really nice item. I don't know if they change it at all, but what it should do is I think I think like 300 or 200 percent extra damage against jammed enemies and It does should do 25 percent more damage against bosses, which now that the boss damage cap has been reduced That should be a pretty big deal That silver bullets got a huge buff because normally you would still need a good gun to really like love silver bullets against the bosses. But now every, every maybe everything can maybe hit the damage cap with a lot of stuff. Who knows? I don't know like it, how big of a difference the damage cap is on like a percent percentage level. This is exciting. But it it definitely feels different. They supposedly did buff the red chest drops across the board. So this is a red chest drop, obviously. But it was not bad to begin with. So I'll be I'll be curious. It was already not bad. Doing pretty good work. But we do have gilded bullets and 65 shells, which is a pretty nice pretty nice increase. I think it can get at 500 shells. It goes all the way up to some like 250% damage increase, or it, it's some ridiculous, some ridiculous. But you do have to hinder yourself in a way, like make it so you don't buy all the cool stuff. But if we could get a vampire to get some, I always say vampire, like I'm being, like I am being possessed by that oil tycoon man. I, uh, I am not, I'm from Minnesota, I must, must reiterate. Like, I, I don't know, I, I should have asked beforehand, but I'll ask this now. Based off of my voice, if you didn't know, where would you have thought I was from? Like, I've, I'm always curious about that. Oh my god, we're destroying her! Like, she's easy, she's always easy, but... Can we talk about how much we are destroying her? Bad. 
Bad. The silver bullets. Oh my goodness. They killing it, man. Siren's great. But yeah, where, where would you think I was from if you didn't already know? That's that's my my video question of the day. Because it's always interesting to find out how how your voice comes across. Like you you never know what kind of accent you have, how obvious it is, everything like that. Oh, oh, bug boots. These are fine already. Like for I don't know. Are they though? Gives us poison immunity and we leave the poison trail. Made a little triangle. Look at that. That's adorable. But, I don't know. Where am I from? <laughs> I'm just a... I'm just a lonely tycoon man. Trying to find... I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to make any, like... <laughs> bad remarks. I, I got... Also, I don't really know anything about the oil tycoon business. I'm just the heir. I, I don't know anything about the tycoon business. But... No, I don't know. I don't know anything about oil ty tycoonery. Is that, uh... Let's, let's say that it's called uh, oil tycoonery. Don't correct me. I, I want to live in this world where it's called oil, ty oil tycoonery. But we got the siren, which is a nice... A banger. Which I believe I have rated in the past as a 7 out of 10 on the Reto scale. R-E-T-O scale.com. First time plugging that. It, sh it should be updated relatively soon with the new items. But what it is, it's uh, I rated every single item in A, G, and D on a scale of 1 to 10 with my personal opinion. Take it with whatever you, you know, whatever grain of salt that means to you. As much as you care about my opinion, it is uh, what I think of every item rated right on a scale of 1 to 10. So people can just... Because people want to know, like, how do... Uh, what, what's a quick way I could get better at the game? Like, the best I can think of is, like, making sure when you're purchasing items or, um, like, you have any situation where you have the option between a couple to to pick a better one, you know? So if you, if you have no idea, there you go, you know? Full Metal Jacket, I wonder if it's been tweaked at all. You can open that up, R-E-T-O scale.com. It's got just a, a little bit of a, all the items from AG and D ranked. At some point, I will run through and update the ranks of them for everything, like especially all the, the red chest guns should be crazy tweaked, apparently. Does the, po the poison from bug boots last longer? Hold up, I think it does. That or I just never gave this this item the time of day to begin with, so I just never would know. But I love the siren. It's just a, it's a nice basic weapon, really good for room clear. Because it, it takes a long time to run out. That's typically a big thing that I like to consider when I'm, like, ranking an item in my head. Oh, big bad. Because, uh, you know, ammo can be a problem. It's less, less a problem... Now than ever, I think. The gudgeon is supposed to be in its most forgiving state at this point, apparently. And uh, I could confirm that with getting two rainbow chests already, unless I am, you know, an insane, like, <laughs> insanely lucky, should have bought a lottery ticket the moment I stopped those episodes. I think that it's a lot more likely. Balloon gun is amazing. I will buy it. Gives us flying, and is, but as soon as we get hit, we lose all ammo and flying. But it does crazy good damage. But we need to actually, we have to conserve our money. Ah, oh, man. It's hard, though. I don't want to hinder myself too much. Uh, ooh. I don't want to hinder myself too much as far as, like, the items I'm allowed to buy. So maybe from here on out, what I'll, I'll just do is I'll save my money if there's any new items or keys, I will buy those. But otherwise, I will, uh, I will just hold on. Okay. Welcome everybody new, by the way. Like, like I said, this is the first episode going up after the, the new series. 
has been launched. And I gotta say, like, I am blown away. Like, I have my Discord open in the, uh, like, on my second monitor here. And it's just, it's just blowing up. It's blowing up. And I, I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you so much. Shout out to the Discord. If you want to talk about Gungeon or either get help with it or if you have, want to talk about spoilers with the new update, there's a, there's a channel for both of those. Antibody. It's good enough. I don't love it. But there's a link in the description for the, for the Discord. Oh, if you are interested in that. We're wrecking this guy a little bit less, which makes sense. God, I got that M16 sound glitch. Also, the name of my uh, electronic music group. Oh, Big Bad. That's the name of our album. Should not be holding the one gun that has a consequence if we get hit during this phase when we can't hit him. Kick his rump, kick his rump, kick his rump. Yeah, maybe either the cannon... Whoa, what on earth was that trajectory? Did he get hit on the door frame? Oh, oh, got him. Alas, we have won. Blooper, another shotgun. I always consider this to be a, a water-based weapon as well, even though it's not. Based on Looper. But it kind of looks like... It just reminds me of a squid, and I can't... I just... I can't separate it from... Blooper in... Mario. And Paper Mario, especially. Boy, oh boy. Let's answer some Discord questions. Link in the description if you want to ask one of your own. Blind Joe Death. Hey, Rito, off the top of your head, what is one of the most memorable Gungeon runs you've done? Hmm, it's interesting because I can't separate them from the video because I have played very little Gungeon that I have not recorded. Like, it's pretty much if I'm if I'm playing Gungeon, I'm recording it. So I, I pretty much have them tied to that. Okay, do we need to get more than one, or did we just get lucky with there being another one? Strange. I wonder. I almost wonder if the pre-release did not have Paradox in it at this point. That's my guess. Because two of them showing up seems a little uh, a little suspect. But yeah, so the most memorable run. This is a it's risky business here. Is probably the, I did a run a long time ago titled the uh, the Gunfather. And it was because I <laughs> I, it was a run where I didn't get, like, anything. Like, nothing really good. So I I, I started treating them all like my children. And I, I got attached to them. And I it had a lot to do with... I know it had a lot to do with Blasphemy. Like, I was getting guns that were fine, but Blasphemy is a starting weapon that's just... It's just better than a lot of other guns. So that's, that's always stuck with me. Like, the... Sometimes, like, those... Runs where you just have a little bit of a war of, of a, oh, war of attrition are a little bit more, a little bit more memorable sometimes. Other than that, like, oh, the gun, they, they kind of, they blend together when you have like 700. If I ever got Cormorant, you better believe that one would stand out. But also, you know, the run where I got my first glitch chest is a big one. But for the most part, yeah, they they blend together a bit. And that's why I'm really excited about Paradox. Because I think that it is going to be a recipe for creating a little bit more, more extra memorable runs. And that's, you know, just because the runs aren't memorable doesn't mean they're not good or anything. Like, they m might incite a supreme amount of joy while playing them. And that's good enough, you know? But I, I do, I talk about it a lot. Oh, I don't want to go through here again. No, thank you. I talk about one thing a lot recently, and that's that I do very much appreciate difference in in, in roguelikes from, from game to game. 
So like having new characters is is really exciting because it's it's more potential for a run to feel different from the next. More potential to feel like I want to spend you know more time trying new runs. Paradox especially. We'll see the we'll see the gunslinger. I have I still I've not been spoiled. I have no idea what his catch is. I have no idea what he starts with. Nothing. That's a mimic. Get blooped! Get blooped! <gasps> oh, they're cursed! Folded lead. Zero in on their target and continue slashing. Legend tells of Katana bullets so quick and skilled that it once sliced through a bullet molecule in midair. Alright. Uh, I'm excited. And intrigued. So, are we gonna fire at some shots that literally look like katanas or katanas? Or is it gonna be like they stick on the enemy and then they keep it? Oh my goodness. I saw it. That's cool. That is cool. Oh, baby. Uh oh. So, one shot bop guns, ones that are like. Oh. A little bit slower tend to be more likely to produce, you know, a, a special bullet like that. So maybe with the blooper we can get something. Something a brewing, something a going. We keep on killing them before it has any effect. Is it on death? Hmm. Seems like yeah, it's only happening on death right now. Maybe maybe it is on death. Hold up. Zero in on the target. Continue slashing. Okay, it doesn't say anything about it, but that's my current guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's got to be it. So. Or maybe not. God, I'm so confused. Or maybe there's just a chance on death to do it. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. So let's pop on down. Open up our... We don't have any keys. We haven't had any keys for a million years. What am I talking about? I love that there is a cell creep here. Thank Gob. Thank you, Gob in heaven. Jeez Louise, it's gonna be so nice to be able to sell stuff that's garbage before before the blacksmith. Big banger. Hook. <laughs> I, I I wish I remembered who made the joke, but I, I, I gotta give commendations to the person who said that how like the answer to how was how how did I start my channel or why did I start my channel? The answer has to be the big banger, and I have to I just please come forward, be truthful, be honorable. The retro nation is a nation of honor, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm counting on you. This is the honor system. That's a good joke. I like it. The end. What do you got here? We don't have an active item yet. Like, I really want this. But also, we're here's the thing. We're going to the past, so we're gonna win this run no matter what. I have no questions in my mind that we're going to win this run. So do we really need defensive capabilities? So we're floating over the fire here. This is risky business, nudes! Ooh. Guys and goils. I don't know if we're hitting the damage cap. We might be. Ooh. I saw the katana. Corsair. Synergy. Three sheets. Three sheets. 
I've had this before, but I don't remember what it does. It doesn't seem to be like... No, like, obvious effect. Okay. All right, so there's a couple options here. We could just buy a key and go talk to Lonk, and try to junk these two chests for the off chance we get junkin'. All right. Decision made. There's just a small chance we could get junkin' or something valuable. Bullet, bullet idol. When we get hit, oh boy, when we get hit, we now do a little bit of damage to everybody on the screen. Junkin'. Okay. All right. I, uh, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I should sell some stuff. What to sell, though? What to sell? Now that we are here... What do we even want to sell? We don't really need antibody. I'll keep the junks, because they're just going to give us, like, six shells max. Whoops. What? I think I'll sell the Vengeful Idol, but... I'm always wondering if maybe we're going to get a synergy with it, so that's typically the, the reason not to. I'll sell this, and you know what, I'll even... I'll sell this, too. And I gotta get away, just in case. Alright. Oh, wait, we... You know, we want to sell a lot. We have gilded bullets. We, we, we've got to sell as much as we can. But I gotta be prepared. I'm gonna get jump-scared again. It's fun. It's gonna blow up. Okay, we can do another one. Let's sell the antibody. We don't need no health. Here it comes. Maybe. He's angry. Okay. And we can sell something else. What should we sell? Corsair gives us a synergy. I don't really... I don't know if I want to sell anything else. We could sell bug boots. Let's sell bug boots. When is it going to explode? I'm, I'm very surprised. Do we have to sell a master round? Like a certain amount of items, but one of them has to be a master round? Is that the deal? Either way, I'm, I'm out of here. I think we got ourselves an easy run ahead of us. I mean, we should definitely talk to the, uh, talk to the blacksmith just in case. Not sure. Ooh, we wrecked that creature. Katana bullets seem like they might be underwhelming unless I'm not understanding them correctly. Which is which is fine. They don't all need to be banger supremes. Oh! It looks like they push you away as well. Huh. So it looks like the it's on the corpse or whatever? I wow. Alright. We're gonna spend this entire episode not even knowing what they do. But I thought it was just gonna be like a chance chance for it to do it, but it, it's definitely on death. The visual, I love it. Could cause issues though. If, if it does in fact push us away, it could be one of the items that, that causes some issues from time to time. Especially with the fact that it does have curse on it, too. So it's not even a freebie. Don't do it. Don't do it! Don't spend the money! Those are really good items, but I just want the damage. And we've had those items, like, a lot. At least in our in the in the last series. We've, we've had them a lot. They ain't new. I'll tell you that much. Okay. But yeah, our, our damage caps out at 500 shells. But at about 400, we've effectively... I think we're at, we get to like 93% of its max effectiveness for Gilded Bullets. So I don't I don't care too much about getting the max. So if there's something, uh, something new or something really, really of fun value in the Blacksmith Shop, we will go for it. But we don't... Uh, we sleep. We sleep for uh, old things. Hold on. 
Could that be interpreted weird? Oh, of course it is. It's the internet. Anything could be. Everything has a uh, bajillion meanings. Whoop. Whoop. Every sentence, every sentence in 2019 can be taken in a plethora of ways. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So we'll see. Blacksmith, I look like your floor. Do you like that? Gotta remember to get the bullet that can kill the past. Big, big remember, have to, have to, have to, have to. Otherwise, I think that we will have to do another run, which wouldn't be the end of the world. Goner, backpack not included. Oh. Goner is an amazing game, by the way, everybody. This brightly colored gun changes shape at regular intervals, making it a little hard to hold on to. That said, you're sure to have a whale, a whale of a time firing it. Oh, my goodness. That game, God, it's... It, it, I did a series on it. Oh, look at the little visuals when the... Guys, I... This is my favorite new gun in the game right now. Favorite new one, just because I, I love Goner so much. Huh! Fire's pretty pretty normal. I just like it because of the visuals. Ah, you son of a gun. Oh. Okay. When we get hit, we drop drop a little skull. Don't know what it does here. I know in, in Goner, if you get hit, you drop your skull and you need to pick it back up. It's kind of like a little bit of a... Ah, we don't need any of this. Okay, so pressing the E button on these does not seem to do anything. But in Goner, it, it's basically like... A, it's like armor or whatever. Sort of. So my guess is that's what it is in here too. Like we, may, Or maybe like maybe we heal? Or you have, if we get hit, we have a chance to drop it? I don't really know. I don't want to. I don't want to go too crazy on my speculation because I'm going to look like a, a doofus because it's surely on the wiki already. At this point. Anyway, let's answer another question. Justice Tom asks, what is your least favorite gun in the game that you can think of and why? Least favorite. Pre-update, I was would definitely say it was Vorpal Gun because I am insanely, apparently insanely photosensitive. And it would actually strain my eyes severely. So like, I just, I actually hated getting that weapon. But now that's apparently been changed. We'll see. We'll see if it's blinding at this point or if it's not too bad. Eventually, when we get it. I, I'm, ex I'm very excited because I love the concept of a gun that has critical hits. But it, it just wasn't usable. And I'm hoping they did the same thing with Vorpal bullets. Okay, I'm getting the hang of the Katana bullets. Are they worth whatever tier they're in and a curse? Remains to be figured out, but... I like them. I like the, the, that they're there. Ooh, ooh. All right, no more chance. We got one more chance to get a key. I'm gonna say that we're not gonna get it. Hey, okay, go and do the past. I wonder if Gun Knight is easier to get. I feel like it is. If I got two rainbow chests already, I bet you they tweak Cormorant. Just how much the... Like, you don't need to tweak how likely it is to get the Gun Knight pieces in general, but just maybe... Because there's a thing in the game where when you... Okay, spoilers, I guess. When you get all of the Gun Knight pieces, all four of them, you turn into Cormorant, like a special transformation. I've played for s almost 800 hours at this point, like 750 or whatever the hell I pulled up on screen, and I have never gotten it naturally like i've only ever gotten it by modding modding the game and that is m nuts but when you get a piece you're more likely to find another one but i always found that it it didn't seem like it increased it that much so maybe they maybe they tweak that a smidge
Huh. I would like to figure out what the effect is when we get hit. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, we don't need to perfect this, I guess. I'm going to get hit on purpose on the uh, the second phase. I'm going to do it then so that I can prove that it's on purpose. Because we don't, we don't need the health upgrade if we're going to the past. All right. Actually, this is not a good place to figure it out. We'll just, maybe we can just walk into him. What am I doing? All right, just get hit right here. Okay. I, I, maybe I'll just wait for the comments to tell me what happened there. If we did the gun drop technique, we definitely could have one cycled that, but it's like really not a big deal. All right, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna get hit one more time. And yes, it's on purpose. Maybe it's like if we get hit and we pick that up fast enough, if we're able to pick it up, we can get healed for the damage we took. If it's red health, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. All right, we have the bullet that can kill the pass. We do indeed. We are going to the bullet's pass. I had to pick the one with the pass that I'm most likely to lose, didn't I? I feel like it's the one that's most different. It's the one that's most different from playing the normal game. So it's the one that's most likely to kill me. But we'll see, we'll just be patient. So much stress. We got this. <laughs> oh, cool. We get to be the uh, Paradox Flavor Man in the past. Exhale. Start fast, start fast. They get out of sync and then they get rough. Ah! Shoot. Uh oh. God, it's, it's, as soon as they get out of sync, they give you a hard time. There we go. Thank goodness. Now it's easy. If I'm just patient, which I'm not. This past is all about patience, which I have very little of. I like how my hand's still yellow. So it's you, the bullet person. The spell is almost complete. Soon my quick draw master rises. All bulletkin will be slaves to his grandeur. And to be fired by his will. But I am not his kind. Usurper shall soon reign. Turn back now, return to your chamber, and rejoin the rest of your pathetic kind. Or do you think you can stop me? Go ahead on. I had to take a peek again to see if it's been changed at all. Dump. Dump. All right. No! Do the real one, man! Do the real one, man! Oh, come on! Here we go. This has got to be it. For those of you... For the gun initiated, you cannot damage him right now. It's just... It's literally not possible. He's invincible. Hup. To the normal swing. Fake. Fake! What else you got? Coward! Oh. One. Two. Three. Next one is what, five? So far, so fine. So far, so fine. Could be real. It's real. One. Two. Three. Oh, no! Master! Alright. One more phase, and then we unlock Paradox? Question mark? Hey, dude! 
Evil King Cannon. Oh yeah. Okay, now we can, we can hit him. God, I'm so impatient. So impatient. Okay. All right, all right, just be patient. These are going to break down. Okay. Whoa. If I could perfect it, that'd be great, but I feel like we're going to be fine. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident we're going to be okay. Because we're halfway through. We haven't been hit yet. We do have a blank even. Hit. 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 This phase is the one where you definitely get to have all your free free damage. And there's the hit. That's fine. Okay, now we're getting we're getting too greedy. And thank God, I was definitely nervous. Definitely nervous. Boom. Something special supposed to happen? God, I love, I love this. This is my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite pass, despite it being the one that I'm most likely to lose for sure. I just, I love that, that visual. I love that nod to, uh, to Zelda. Thought I me mean, the whole thing. You killed the pass. The Gungeon remains. So that run, we don't even, I, the one thing is I do wish we could take a peek at our items from before the past. Like, I wish the items that showed you were not, oh, we did it, we did it. Paradox, no pass, it takes five, five credits to play, but uh, you know, we, <laughs> we have a, a little over 9,000 some. Really special loot. Crueler Glaive. Huh. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. We did it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you, buddy, for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on this series up to this point. Wow. Holy moly. Subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos. Join the Discord if you want to talk about Gungeon. Ask me a question for the video. Or just get updates, major updates on my channel, stuff like that. Follow me on twitch.tv slash retromation to catch me streaming Enter the Gungeon live as well. But that's going to do it. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.